Hi friends! Welcome to my first YouTube video with Journal with Jess. Let's get right into it. Today I'm going to flip through my completed travel journal insert. This is the first insert I've ever done to document traveling. Before we do a full flip through, let me show you what else I have in here. I have a passport insert just to house any traveler's company partner stamps. I have a pencil board and I'm using the clear zipper insert. I think is what it's called. It has two clear pockets, the zipper insert in the back. I also have the 2023 clear folder. The cover I like to use as my travel journal is the olive color. Moving on to the insert, I used a white insert. This is the full insert with, I think it's 62 pages. I decorated the front with some Traveler's Company items. I use a photo printer, the Canon Ivy one specifically, and you can see there's a pretty bad glare, so sorry about that. But I put in the places on the cover there of the cities this journal holds, and it is Prague, various cities in Germany, and Milan. I love to collect postcards. I thought that was really nice to add into my journal. And I won't go in depth about each spread, mostly talking about the ephemera I used, some ideas, and what I really learned about trying to journal while traveling. It was really hard to kind of pick what stationery to bring. If you've tried to journal while traveling, you'll know that trying to fit what you want in your luggage especially if you're just doing carry-ons you know that space is very limited but early on I knew I wanted to collect receipts receipts are such a great way to have ephemera that matches with what you're doing a lot of places will have their logo on the receipts or the name of the restaurant so that's a nice way to really tie in your travel another thing that I learned to do was collect all of the transportation tickets from bus tickets train tickets um, even the tickets you get to park your car if the machine doesn't eat it up on your way out it was you know really nice to keep for my journal it took me a few days to realize that I should have been asking for business cards from places and it wasn't until the end of our trip in Prague that I started asking every restaurant that we visited. I know we're in a digital age now and some airlines don't even print out their boarding passes anymore, but if you manage to get your hands on one, save it. It is so good for adding into your travel journals. I bought my first fountain pen there and I love how Coveco has their history pamphlet so I included that in the spread and it made a really nice accordion pull out in the travel spread. I really love how I can incorporate so many flip out items, pages, make it really interactive. One thing about adding these pages or ephemera in your travel journal is stay away from the spine. Anytime you are going to bulk up your insert Keeping it close to the spine will potentially bust the spine. It could break it, and it is so much harder to try and rethread or reassemble or tape together. So, I will try to paste or tape with washi a lot of the thicker items like postcards, business cards towards the edge, and that way the spine can stay intact as much as possible. So let's talk about the photo printer I use. I have the Canon Ivy Mini Printer. I really like it. It's about a 2 by 3 size and I print around 2 to 3 photos per zinc paper. It is an inkless printer. It uses heat technology and I really loved it and including it in my spreads. It makes it so much more personal to be able to take photos of the buildings around us. Any cute things that maybe aren't 
specifically monuments but just how the atmosphere feels it really added this nice touch to my journals and one thing i learned from watching other youtubers was taking pictures of your food drinks and then cutting them out not necessarily leaving them as a square or a rectangle and it kind of gives it a sticker feel incorporating larger pamphlets or papers was a little harder i saved this starbucks reserve milan roastery pamphlet and had to really figure out how it was going to fold nicely in the journal and not potentially you know interrupt the binding if there's anything i learned from this process it's collect everything you never know what you're gonna use and fill your journal with thank you so much for watching my very first youtube video with journal with jazz let me know down in the comments where your dream destination is for 2023 happy journaling i'll see you at the next one